And in the meantime, we will start again. Try not to be at war with the crisis this time. So I think we're going to go energy capacity geared because it's always really useful to get early. We've got a very nice energy compatible planet, which is good. Uh, pop growth speed, because we've got a pop growth disadvantage as a species. Getting that very early is really, really useful. It's why I don't actually mind taking that species trait. So here's a tip for you. Slow breeders is not a problem. Slow breeders is a thing where you might as well take it and then use the points to do other things. Because actually, population growth speed minus 10 is something you can counter very, very quickly. And then you can always engineer it out later on in the game. Um, and we're also going to take Corvette Hull plus 100. No, actually we're not. We're going to take coil guns. Uh, I would do it, but the only time I played Stellaris, I got lost 10 minutes in and never understood what I was doing. Um, uh, AKA normal new player. Yeah, I oh know, absolutely. Not a bad galaxy position. So we want to push out and find where our neighbours are. And I reckon we want to get and check down here first. Uh, let's shipyard this out. Science ship. Get you in there. Get some mineral production going on. Go. But you're not. You are in the short term, potentially. But the moment you can engineer it out, which you can do relatively quickly if you just get the moment you get the gene to, to do it. Because it depends on the luck of the draw of the population stuff landing. I honestly think you're not at a massive disadvantage for doing it. Same government, same species. So we're running with our, our Song of Stars, our Iron Song Among Stars. And we have a gateway, one system jump away. That's fun. Second science ship. Uh, anomaly discovery chance is going to be nice, so we'll get them at the end of the month. Draw your utopia. Uh, let's not play on normal. You head that way. We grow ever stronger. We grow ever stronger. So it doesn't look too bad in terms of arms. So we've got potential. We want to scout down that way with the next science ship. Because remember what I'm doing here is trying to push out. Arid World's not great, but we can terraform it. So we've got a size 22 nearby. That's nice. If we get round here, potentially locking stuff in. Okay, that's an arm going round there. So get back there first, because there's not going to be another species on that arm. Because the game is not going to put a species on a long, thin trek. Track like that. So let's go up to fastest for a while. Give me another science ship. Good evening, Min Pink Kitty. Alpine World 13, not great. Uh, none of these greats, we take the youngest. Probably want to start them surveying because none of these have got survey boosts. He's got anomaly discovery chance, so actually, what we probably want to do is pull him back. We don't know which way we want to build out yet. I suspect it's going to be this way. Start surveying there. My gut feeling is there's going to be another race over here. Bosh. Oh, nice. Actually, that's good news for us. That might well be... Please be the curators. Oh. 
Okay, and that dead ends. Ugh, the Ute. Are the Ute one of the good ones? Do you get anything decent from that? Does the Ute give you the Relic World? Uh, Minute Pink Kitty, this is a new start because annoyingly the other one bugged out on us. We ended up in a war with the Crisis whilst also not being at war with the Crisis. Um, I am actually going to open some booze now though. So let's go. We're going to go with a Cavedo Celebration Port. This is a 1981 white port. Raised, matured and bottled in the Douro Valley. Um, so this port is essentially 40 years old. Um, which will be nice. That will help us get over the trauma of losing a save. Smells good. Schrodinger's war indeed, you're absolutely right. That's very nutty. Oh, that is lovely. That's quite full bodied. That's almost like a um that's almost like a tawny despite being a white. Oh, that's lovely. I'm not normally a huge white port fan. I like it, but that is lovely. If you're ever in the market for it, yeah, there you go. Quevedo, who are an absolutely the, uh, my favourite place to uh, my favourite um, port vineyard. Um, yeah. If you ever find yourself in a position to get a 1981 collator, get a 1981 collator off of them. That well, that is a punch in the mouth, which is really, really rare for a white port. Duffy ZM, ZEMU, thank you very much to follow. You didn't get a follow announcement there, and I'm not quite sure why you didn't get a follow announcement. We had that yesterday where the hot follow announcement disappeared. Yeah, I agree that port should be like a punch in the mouth, and that is actually like a punch in the mouth in a good way. Uh, right, so you're going to want another one of these down. There shouldn't be a species around. An ocean world. Right, I know it's only a size 12, but that is an ocean world, and we can colonise that straight away, so we will do. Right, this is where it's going to get complex, and this is where we're going to bump into other races then. So I'm actually going to bring you back up to start surveying. A system has been charted. Uh, we will do the habitable word survey because it's early enough. Explore that. I want you to get back over there because you've got anomaly discovery boosts and start surveying there. Let's get another science ship out. We're going to go dis uh, discovery. We've not bumped into anyone yet who we can't deal with. So you need a new leader. I'm not getting good survey leaders at the moment, which is annoying. Savannah World size 21. Oh, interesting. Hang on. That connects through there. What's quicker? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So it's quicker over the top. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, quicker over the top. So we'll go over. So actually, you survey that. You carry on exploring and you survey that. That is a lovely port. That's made up for my um, mild disappointment at losing that other save. So we're doing well in that save. 
Actually, I'll tell you what, we will survey down here, because if that turns out to be the curators, we're, we're going to want it relatively quickly. Because remember, we're essentially confined to one planet, really, because we went with the ocean planet start. Okay, now we're cooking. Pro tip, by the way, if you do all of this before you unpause, you're going to get a jump on them. Right. If that is genuine spacefarers, we're going to need to rush that. So get over there and start surveying. This, by the way, is why I always kind of push out. Because you kind of want to see push out and see where you hit other races. Because if you can gate them in or lock them off, you're absolutely laughing. We grow ever stronger. Anomalous space-time continuum ahead. Pause for uh, you can lose out on influence by not pressing the button at the bottom fast enough. Yeah, exactly. Like, you, you, you want to just kind of instantly pause and, and push and go straight for the contact events. That's the artisan troop. That's not the end of the world. So that would give us a unity boost if we build down there. So less of a priority for me now than that we know we've got to go up here. But good to know nonetheless. Right, you might as well research that, because you're the one over here. Do we want anything else down on this planet right now? So, jobs... Let's do that. It's done then, and it's and it's got good stuff for a while. Survey speed increase right now is really handy, because we're in a race. I mean, we might not be. It might turn out that that is not a spacefaring species and is an actual fact. Amoebas or something. But the events aren't going like amoebas, they're going like a proper race. So we need to cut them off. Because if we're lucky, that's their entire space. We're not going to do any other anomalies around here until we've done this. There you go. Mengland5164. You got a, a, a follower sound. Thank you very much for the follow. So we're racing to get to here. Because if we can get to here, we're probably going to block them off from getting out there. A system has been charted. So we leave any anomalies we find here. Right, you build there. And I want you... Surveying there. I want you surveying there. Actually, go survey there. Because that's the one we need to get to stop them jumping. And you go there. Because if they haven't taken that one and we can beat them to that one, we can just completely block them in. The nice thing actually is we've lucked out and we've got the leader that produces. Right, they are receptive, so that's a good sign. So it's not like we bumped into a swarm. Right, do they actually have a base in that system? No, they're surveying it as well. Space updated. Go have a look at that system just so we can see what's there. So we should get to at least there, which is good. Mm. 
Right, nothing maging there, so go research the projects there, because that was a derelict ship. Give me an alloy foundry. Our lookouts have detected an anomaly. How are we doing? We're all right on alloys, so give me another construction ship. We grow ever stronger. Uh, the ship in orbit around T Tier 2A was not abandoned. The crew is alive but not well, influenced by some sort of brain parasite. With the help of our scientists, they could be easily cured. Brain parasites! We are being contacted by aliens. The Mir Miravonda Decimators, fanatical purifiers of the blood court. Quake in fear, alien scum, for your doom approaches. The Miravandia decimators will cleanse the galaxy of every misbegotten Xeno civilization that populates, that pollutes it with its presence. Whispers of home shall burn. Uh, keep out of way or we will make you. Oh fuck, they're over there. We've got fanatical purifier neighbors, or we're going to. Yeah, they seem friendly. Because everyone loves having fanatical purifiers on their border. Well, this will be fun. construction ship there so you can follow up and do the mining stations gonna need to build a fleet oh man I really want that system oh man that port is so good I know I'm a massive class traitor for my working class roots for utterly adoring port but Still, I don't care. Uh, right, Lavis Coalition, we absolutely, definitely want to be your friends. I will go straight to defensive pact with you fuckers. They wish to speak with us. The good news is they're a totalitarian regime. They're materialists which we are, but they're fanatic xenophiles, so they're gonna get on with us. Right, minus twenty two, but if we go They're also arid, so we could import them and get that planet going quickly. What are their traits? Conformists. Yeah, I think we get them in. Labis, aren't they? Conformists. Because we can just slap a planet straight down there. Which give us a mining world. And with purifiers on the border, we're going to need it quickly. So we could trade favours. Let's trade favours for the pact. That's minus 22, so we need five. One, two, three, four, five. We can actually give you some consumer goods because you'll want them at this stage and we have loads. But actually, give us an active sensor link. 
Have you got any alloys you want to give us? No. Any minerals you want to give us? Because I will happily take some minerals off you in exchange for a few more consumer goods. Give me 400? Give me 400, you know you want to. Perfect. Sweet. Okay, so now we know what they've got going on over here. See, that's narrowed 21, so they will get that. And then they'll creep out that way, but that's fine. If we can get that, I would love to get it. But they should prioritise going for the world. So I think we'll be alright. Because he's got five orders left to go. Minor civilization, that's down there, so we'll want that relatively quickly. Uh, you need to get over there. And can we now get our defensive pact? We can. Get another trait. Uh, research alternatives. Let's get that early. Right, we've got a defensive pact with the Lavis. We'll probably be able to vassalize them later at this rate. So we want very quickly, will they give us a migration treaty? We can trade for a migration treaty. Commercial pact is probably not going to be worth it, given that we want the influence early on. So let's trade. We need another three favors. Give you some energy. Right, give me... Because we'll cancel this in a minute. Because it's eating into our stuff. Yeah, so they've actually got a decent set of planets around there. Nah, they're going for that one. So we're not going to get Verdamon. They're going to beat us to Verdamon. What have we here? Which isn't the end of the world, but it is annoying. System has been charted. We will beat them to Tagat to Daska, which is important. Uh, right, they have signed the Migration Treaty, which should mean that we can now species the Lavis. And they look kind of cool, so I'm fine with that. You can have full citizenship. You can have stratified economy. You can have full military service. Colonization is allowed. Migration controls are enabled. And what that means is we can now colonize that with the Lavis. This is going to be a mining world, so let's go with... Something kind of poetic. It's an arid world as well. Dune, yeah, no, Dune, Dune does kind of work, but we want the kind of that echoes of or whatever. We go Dunes of. We could go Hum of Dunes.
Silence of Dunes. There you go, Silence of Dunes. Uh, right. You're going to need to survey that. They wish to speak with us. Right, we will form a research, but what we're actually going to do is break the migration. Once we've got that colony, so... What have we here? They wish to speak with us. We've got the full range of treaties, but we'll break some. Because now we're allied with them, I don't want to entirely cut them off. I just want to stop them crashing out this way because we are going to bump into those fools very quickly. And that is not going to be fun. That system isn't worth grabbing. Space charts updated. Go that way. Go that way. Research complete. Right, we've got coil guns, hangers, yes, gimme hanger bays. We can box these fuckers in, we're laughing. Actually, what is our ship template? Is it the one I want? It is not, really. Now, I've seen worse, actually. We might keep that. We want that for the moats. The fleet has been refitted. Okay, we can't box these fuckers in because that's their cluster. Unless we can get to there, we're not going to box them in. Now it's not impossible that we get to there. Our lookouts have detected an anomaly. <laughs> We grow ever stronger. That is a spacefaring species. Space charts updated. Now, you probably need to get going this way. Right, Silence of Dunes is underway, so I can now um, cancel Break Migration Treaty. There we go. That means they're probably boxed in from that side, so that's fine. Yeah, there's a connection there. Right, they're surveying that one, so they may beat us to it. A system has been charted. We grow ever stronger. That's got the Leviathan, that's the automated dreadnought, so. Space 
these charts updated. We are but motes of dust. Right, that is their other breakout. Oh wow, we need to get down there. That's nice. Close. Space charts updated. They're still surveying. Don't think we're going to be able to totally box them in, but we are at least going to cut them off. Space charts updated. That needs upgrading no matter what. So we're going to need to start slamming the Navy down pretty quickly. Space charts updated. Uh, right, hang on, I need to just very quickly do our giveaway. And then we'll probably have to finish in a minute. But, uh, let me just run that. Ryan Roll, congratulations, you got the U Utopia key. Basically, uh, ping me a DM, and I'll ping you the key. Congrats, and thanks to Trowbridge for donating that. And thanks to Metal Spuddy for the follow. So we've got a few more minutes. So let's just see if we do manage to get this. We're going to get it. We finished the survey just in time. We're not going to get the rest of them because we're not going to have enough influence, but... It's a noble effort nonetheless. Because our construction ship was there first. Yeah, see, look, they're surveying that system already. Anything we can do that just hems in fanatic purifiers is just worth it. Because they get a massive fleet boost. Oh, did they Ringworld start? Oh, they Ringworld started. Oh, we might be able to get the Ringworld off them. And yeah, hostile peacocks down that way. That's useful. Uh, we can close borders to these guys. We really need some ships. Fanatic purists who are ring world preference can't actually live anywhere they conquer. That's why they're so pissed off. Oh, hold up. New species over there. Technology. 
Technology secured. That is um potentially good news. Oh man, I really want that, but at the same time I think we need blue lasers. No, we don't, because we won't be able to power them. We need fusion reactors. I've just reread Niven's Ringworld Engineers this weekend. Great fun. I've never actually read it. I really Our should. Lookouts have detected an anomaly. The system has been charted. We may need to see if there's anything useful here because we're not going to get it first. We will get that. We might get that, but the good news is I think they're boxed in this way anyway. Efforts to decipher the signals picked up from the Epsilon aliens have paid off and we are finally able to open diplomatic channels with the Bruggen host. So we can either gain a bunch of research or we can just get a permanent boost. Why wouldn't we take the permanent boost for 15 years? By aliens. Oh good! It's another uh, race of uh, devouring people. We have a devouring swarm. Murderous peacocks. Well, we're inhabiting the fun end of the galaxy. A new port to call. This may be a very short game. Uh, right, what are we doing on here? Need an energy grid. And you need to give me some mine, a mine. Uh, we can probably rival you. I'm just going to give us an influence boost. We might as well rival you. We grow This is definitely the toughest star I've had for a while. You lot better be friendly because I'm going to need a fucking another defensive alliance with you. On the plus side, if we survive, we've got a ring world out of this. Right, start on anomalies. Uh, I hate these kind of starts, I'd rage quit. Um, the, they, the one thing with this is at least it, it's either going to go very wrong very quickly or will survive. There's basically no middle ground with this. Like, we're not going to survive to the mid-game. We'll either 
knock one of these fuckers out very quickly. These guys are going to declare on us first. But we've got hangar bays researching, so we can build a, a fallback element here and then hopefully hide behind it. If we can get a, diplo a, a defensive pact with these chaps as well as these chaps, we'll be fine. But it is going to come down to whether they're friendly. A uh, scan of the particularly massive asteroid 1ES0909 yields fascinating results. The rock core is shot through with a network of conductive crystals carrying a weak electric charge. Uh, the crew on the, WW on the WSS Protector and Judge recognize this matrix as a primitive neural lattice and believe the celestial body to be thinking in some capacity, if not fully sapient. They seek permission to excavate the core and transport it to the nearest orbital station. Give it a go. Uh, didn't work. We got a bunch of crystals, so. Space charts updated. So it would have been nice to get Cormagas, but. Right, market. Sell 500 of them. Buy as many alloys as we can. We're going to need another star base. We'll build it there. That's going to be our. This is our fallback defensive position. Because we're going to need one. This is a problem. These fuckers are going to be a problem. We'll worry about that in a bit. Give me shit. Wait, what? What happened there? We grow ever stronger. Any ideas? <laughs> They're going to nab that system. Do we care about nabbing those systems? Early space age primitives, you rolled very well on the become a new empire trait. I don't think so. Because we're not showing an occupied planet. And I can't try and contact them. Well, this just became a very interesting save. <laughs> <laughs> 